Last time, we tested the performance of the Realme 11 Pro 5G. We also mentioned in that video that it has a big brother which is this device, the Realme 11 Pro Plus 5G. And as you can see, they are both visually similar. But that is not our topic today since we will look at the Realme 11 Pro Plus features and compare it to the 11 Pro 5G. Will it be a better option or is it better to stick to its lower variant? Mabuhay Manila! This is Kat and this is the Realme 11 Pro Plus. If we are going to talk about the design and build, then both devices are pretty much identical. They both have a premium looking gadget, lightweight and even comfortable to carry around. They also boast the same dimensions but with few distinct features. For us, honestly, one of the worst noting features of the both Realme 11 Pro and 11 Pro Plus is their design, which makes this mid-range device look like a flagship handheld. When holding the device, the back design looks ravishing, thanks to its vegan leather design which also eliminates fingerprint smudges. The sunrise beige colorway offers a pleasant look that further enhances the beauty of the leather design. Since it has a leather back, this device can be used with or without the case since you won't have to worry about scratches due to keys or coins in your pocket. This design is quite similar to the previous Realme GT2 Pro Vegan Leather Edition, but they added a lace-like stitching across the back which adds a different tone to the design. We know some of you hated how huge this kind of camera module is, especially for a smartphone. One thing we like about this is that if you place a device on a flat surface, you will see that it doesn't wobble much. Looking at a different direction, both the Realme 11 Pro Plus and the Pro 5G are surrounded by a gold-plated frame which makes it stand out more. The power button and volume rockers are placed on the right side of the frame while at the bottom is the dual SIM tray, USB-C connector, and a microphone. You also get a dual speaker, one from top and one from the bottom of the device. For us, the only downside of its vegan leather back is that it doesn't offer any IP certification to protect the device from both water and dust. Turning over the device, we get its display. The Realme 11 Pro Plus has a 6.7 inch curved AMOLED display with an FHD Plus resolution and is paired with a 120Hz refresh rate. It offers a 93.65% screen to body ratio with a little to no bezels and curved edges. This offers us an immersive viewing experience. Its AMOLED display also offers accurate colors and is HDR capable. As for navigating the device, 120Hz is solid as expected. It is smooth and it offers fluid transitions. You can either stick to the 120Hz refresh rate or switch to 60Hz to save some of your battery. Our best bet would be to set it to an automatic or adaptive refresh rate. With the display out of the way, let's move forward to its cameras. Unlike the Realme Pro 5G, the Realme 11 Pro Plus carries a triple camera setup with a 200 megapixel OIS sensor, 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel macro. The 200 megapixel main shooter isn't just for show, it outputs impressive quality images for a mid range device. It offers a pleasing white balance and true-to-life colors. Results on daylight comes out to be good in details and sharpness. It also gives a solid color distribution with balanced shadows and no visible deep blacks. For night photography, even without the dedicated night mode feature, outputs are great. It has good details as well as solid exposure levels. We still recommend using the dedicated night mode features as it adds noise reduction and adds a bit more detail and sharpness to images. However, when it comes to ultra wide, this is where we think that they could have done better. Image qualities are far from its main shooter in terms of color accuracy and details. The dynamic range, color temperature, temperature, and even the details of an image are far different from what the normal mode captures compared to the ultra-wide result. As for the macro shooter, well, we think it's decent enough to deliver an acceptable result. However, if photos are taken low-light scenery, qualities of the result tend to fall down. When it comes to selfies, the 32 megapixel shooter snaps a decent quality image with good facial features and details. We also get good colors with root to life skin tones. However, as always, Realme tends to over sharpen selfie images. 
Well, that's for the photos, but what about video recording? The Realme 11 Pro Plus 5G can shoot videos up to 4K at 30fps. However, the ultra steady feature only applies to 1080p at 60fps. With the cameras out of the way, let's take a look at its performance and software. Both the Realme 11 Pro 5G and the Realme 11 Pro Plus are powered by a MediaTek Dimensity 7050 soft chip. It is a 6 nanometer octa-core CPU that offers two performance Cortex-A78 and six efficiency Cortex-A55 cores. It is surely an upgrade compared to the Dimensity 1080 of the Realme 10 Pro Plus last year. For starters, the 11 Pro Plus offers decent scores and comparing its Antutu scores to the Realme 10 Pro Plus last year, it yields a small improvement. Apart from that, the configuration of our review unit is 12 gigs LPDDR5 RAM and 512 gigs UFS 3.1 storage. As for software, it is based on Android 13 and slapped with Realme UI 4.0. It is expected to have 2 years of updates with 3 years of security patches. As for its battery and charging, we are actually surprised that they managed to fit in 5000 mAh battery cell in this thin form factor. In terms of screen time, well, a 6 nanometer chip with an AMOLED display will surely last to you longer. But it won't guarantee you a consistent battery life since it will depend on how you use your device. If it's your day-to-day -day needs with casual social media browsing, then its battery may last you the whole day and can even have spare battery life for tomorrow. But if we are talking about gaming or continuous usage, then expect it to last about 4 to 6 hours. When it comes to charging, unlike the 67 watts of the Realme 10 Pro, 5G, the Pro Plus carries a 100 watts fast charging. Choosing up the device from 0 to 100% took us about 36 minutes, which is pretty good. You also get a guaranteed 50% in under 20 minutes, which is good for users who are always on the go. Overall, the Realme 11 Pro Plus 5G is a solid mid-range photography smartphone. The 200MP Samsung Isocell HP3 sensor delivers solid quality images that are even on par with some of the flagship devices out there. Aside from photography, you also get a premium looking device, an impressive curved AMOLED display, and a battery that lasts longer and charges faster. The Realme 11 Pro Plus is priced at 24,999 pesos and is one of the best looking smartphones out in the market. If you are into devices that look flashy and premium, then the Realme 11 Pro Plus 5G is a solid buy. And that is the Realme 11 Pro Plus. Let us know your thoughts about this device. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you will be updated with our future contents. And also, don't forget to visit manilashaker.com for more tech news, reviews, and comparisons of the latest devices. Once again, this is Kat and Papuhay Manila. Thank you.